Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install Luke FC's FSR3 frame generation mod in Lords of the Fallen. I've already explained the functioning and setup process of this mod. It basically replaces FSR2 with FSR3 in order to add frame generation support to any game. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly subscription costs around 6 US dollars. The best part of this mod is that it works on all of the GPUs whether it's from Intel, Nvidia or AMD. I have already tested this mod for Lords of the Fallen on my ROG Ally Radeon 780M GPU. Yes, it worked on that device as well. In this video, I'll be trying out this mod on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. If you have an RTX based GPU, you can even replace FSR3 upscaler with DLSS. I'll be showing you that in the later part of the video. I'll be following these instructions for this game posted by user Mesa on Luke FC's Discord server. My instructions will be slightly different from Mesa's. In the second step, Mesa has mentioned that we need to use a past executable file to be able to use regular FSR. I'll be skipping this step. Here they have provided the download links to the past executable file for the Steam version and Xbox Game Pass version of the game. I actually own the Epic Games version of this game so I really have no other choice. Then we need to add this launch argument DLSS FG. If you have an AMD based GPU, you need to enable fake NVIDIA GPU setting. This setting will be available in the TML file. We also need to disable easy anti-cheat. In order to do this, we will be executing this bad file. This is the script for it. First, I'll run the game without FSR3 frame generation. This will give you an idea about the performance gain after installing the mod. Easy anti-cheat is initiating. Display settings, full HD resolution. DLSS enable using its quality preset. I'll run the game using high preset, motion blur disabled. From here make sure online mode is disabled. We have also disabled easy anti-cheat so you lose access to the online component of this game while using this mod. There's a character here we are getting around 80 FPS. I'll engage in combat. 70 FPS here. empty area looking for the undead there they are big open area here fps is around 67 almost died there Lost my life. This is the realm of the dead. So 62 to 70 FPS. Now I'll be showing you how to install this mod. I'll be using version 0.10.2 of this mod. First extract the contents of common mod files archive file. Copy these two files. Paste them in the games install directory. Open your Epic Games library, click on the three dots below the games box art. Click on manage, then click on this folder icon here. This is the games installed directory. And just open this folder 1.1.477. Then open LOTF2 folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder. Paste the files here. Now we need to copy the mods ASF file corresponding to FSR version 2.2. I'll extract the ASF file. Copy it. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. Now we need to create the bad file. Just copy all of the text. At the end of the third line, I'll just add this argument DLSS FG. Go back to the games directory where you pasted the mod files. Right click anywhere in the open area. Then click on new. Then click on text document. Open it. Paste the line of text here. At the end of the third line just add a space and then add the launch argument dash DLSS FG.
click on file click on save close the text file now we need to rename this text file select it right click then click on show more options and then select rename you can name it anything you want just make sure its extension is set to dot bat i'll just name it run remove the dot txt extension that's it now we need to generate the mods tuml file it will be generated automatically when you run the game for the first time with the mod install so just launch the game when you are in the games menu close the game we will be editing the tuml file just use the bat file to run the game this black window with some logs will pop up indicating that the mod is working the game will crash when you run it for the first time with the mod installed just close the crash prompt now open the tuml file if you have an amd based gpu just set fake nvidia gpu to true by default it is set to false since i have an rtx based gpu i'll be replacing fsr upscaler with dlss upscaler so just copy this mode replace dlss fg replace default with it click on file click on save don't do this step if you don't have an rtx based gpu stick to default now we are ready to run the game just execute the bat file using the same settings as before full hd resolution dlss enable using its quality preset now i have access to frame generation setting i'll just set it to yes enable apply high preset load the same sequence there's a character here we are getting around 120 fps game is running very smoothly i can observe the added amount of smoothness controls are responsive as well engage in combat i head to the open area fps is close to 100 Games interface is not flickering, not observing any graphical artifacts, image quality looks nice, this is DLSS after all. I'll just let these creatures kill me. Now I'm in the realm of the dead. Even here FPS did not drop below 100. That's really good to see. So this mod works very nicely in lots of the fallen. That's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.